Swinburne University of Technology. Hi everyone. In this video we are going to be talking about writing recommendations. So there's three components to a good recommendation. First is uh, what. So what is it that you're recommending? It's important that you're actually recommending a course of action. So you are actually saying here is this thing that you should do. Second component is why. So giving data-based evidence on why you have made your recommendation. And the third component is a how. So this ties into, into the what by giving further detail about the action that you're recommending. So in order to make our recommendations, the first thing we do is look for significant relationships in our data. So remember that we will be looking for our small p-values and our strong correlations and any other relationships of note. And based on this, we want to try and determine some sensible actions to recommend. One thing that students will quite often do is they'll make recommendations along the lines of, you should do more research. Uh, but if you think about it from the perspective of a client, if they've paid you to do some research and you come back and all you can recommend is more research, they're probably not going to be very happy. It may be that you suggest more research, but this is not what I would classify as a recommendation. A recommendation should be a course of action. It should be sensible. It should actually fit in not only with what we saw in the data, but with the product and the company or whatever it is, uh, whoever it is that we're making recommendations to. Uh, if you were working for a cigarette company, then suggesting some sort of health-based campaign because you found that people considered health to be very important probably doesn't make a lot of sense for that particular company. When we're making recommendations, there's normally two types. One relates to the features and the design of the product. Uh, particularly if it's going to be a new product, so perhaps we're doing some market research to find out about a product, uh, what people want in a product before we make it. Or it could be uh, adaptations that we might make to an existing product, so we might talk about features, design, what the book box looks like, things that it can do um, that relate to what people have said. Or it might relate to the marketing of the product, so what what kind of things are people wanting to see in uh, the marketing? Who should we be marketing it to? How should we be going about it? So with any recommendation you should definitely make a common sense check. Is what I have said actually making sense? So our second step, our why, uh, we will have already kind of figured this because in order to determine what we wanted to do we already had to look at our data. The why is the evidence that we're giving uh, based on our data uh, for why we made our recommendation. Any relationships we should make sure we describe in words. We shouldn't be talking about factor one or low p-value or correlation scores or things like that. We should be saying in very clear words that a layman can understand what the, what the data told us, which is why we have made this recommendation. And again, we should be applying common sense. Finally, we should give some more detail of how. Sometimes, depending on how you've written your what, will depend on how much more you need to write in the how you go about it. But what I've found is quite common is students will say something like, you should market to men. And this is not a very clear or useful recommendation. Uh, if you were producing a product where you expect men were your main clients, that's what you were probably doing already. You're already marketing to men. The how, in this case, needs to have detail of how you're going about it. Are you having adverts in men's magazines, for instance? Uh, are you having some sort of targeted uh, TV commercial? What kind of TV commercials? Are you doing radio commercials? Perhaps uh, you are going to market to families, and so you might use census data and figure out where uh, what suburbs have high concentrations of families, maybe do some sort of vouchers or mail drops, uh, billboards in those areas, things like that. So the how should give the detail uh, that follows up from the what. Uh, sometimes people will write their what they recommend in quite a lot of detail, uh, but most times they do not, in which case 
following up with the, the details of how they're going to go about it is very important. So let's think about a uh, example. Let's suppose we manufacture ovens and maybe we've done some study and we found that uh, child safety features were more important to families than they were to single people. So we could be thinking about we're designing a new oven and the new oven we're targeting towards families. So maybe we've already decided this, what kind of things we recommend to the designers. So we might be recommending things like uh, child locks, uh, maybe uh, the glass or the, the surface on the front of the oven um, is one of those cool touch type surfaces so a child's not going to burn their hand if they touch it. Um, could have sensors on it that detect uh, children or short, short people um, so that they um, or kind of features to stop it tipping over or kids climbing on it. So all sorts of things that we could recommend uh, in terms of design based on seeing this relationship. But again, we need to need to make sure that this was if it was an oven targeted to families. If we were designing an oven uh, perhaps for apartments and studio apartments where we weren't expecting families to be, then this piece of data wouldn't be as relevant to us. So we need to make sure that the data uh, matches up to what it is that we're talking about. Uh, if we were marketing an existing product then we would probably look at adverts that showcase things like the child safety features that are already on the product. Might think about how we could go about targeting families as well. So when we're making recommendations there's often quite a lot of different things we can say. We just need to make sure that we're applying common sense, matching our recommendation to the product and to the people and to the data that we have. This has been a Swinburne production.